nearby Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going through an earthquake at this very moment, an earthquake that has been uh, rattling this studio and shaking the lights above us for almost a full minute now. And I can tell you in almost 21 years here and a couple of quakes, I've never been in one that's uh, shaken us like it's this. A, it's a frightening feeling. And up above us, the lights are starting to shake a bit. We don't know what's happening outside the studio at this time, but we have some crews heading outside to see if there's any damage in the Sacramento area. And of course, trying to find out where the earthquake is centered. I can still feel it rocking, Dick. Yeah, this, this has been going on at least about 45 seconds to a minute. Yeah, I, I think more than a minute by now. As a matter of fact, it seemed it seemed that we lasted through at least three commercials with the light shaking in here, and it's uh, we're in a steady kind of a like being in a canoe. I'm getting a little seasick. It's a bit of a roller coaster feeling, and uh, again, we don't know where the earthquake was centered or any damage from it, but we can certainly feel it here at the Channel 10 studios, and I'm not sure if you can feel it where you are in the Sacramento area, but I would imagine because it has been going on for quite a while. And I assume if the, uh, when we find out that the epicenter is somewhere distant from here, the, uh, somebody else might be having real trouble while we're just having the shakes here and things are still squeaking and everything else in here. And I imagine everybody uh, watching us is experiencing their own version of it too. And we'll keep you updated on the story of the earthquake, but let's move on to some other news today. Now Important stop once again. We're going to leave Horse Creek and go to Candlestick Park. That's where our Dan Adams is joining us now live by telephone. And uh, Dan, I understand there were some uh, significant problems as a result of this earthquake in the Bay Area. Right, Dick. Uh, it, we're just getting information now. In fact, we're watching one of the Bay Area channels at this particular time with a live picture from the Bay Bridge, which a section of the Bay Bridge has collapsed. As we're looking at it right now, it looks as though probably about a 30-foot section of the upper deck of the Bay Bridge has collapsed. Uh, of course, the traffic has been stopped on the bridge, and we're getting very sketchy information now on more damage throughout the Bay Area. Let me tell you that uh, when you went to that first commercial break during our newscast at 5 o'clock, that's when it started shaking here in San Francisco. We were right outside Candlestick Park. The first notice that we had is it felt like a bus or a truck was going by, but then all of a sudden, everything started shaking around us. The line of buses that have brought a number of fans here to the ballpark were jumping up and down, rolling side to side. I looked up immediately and saw the light standards above Candlestick Park just swaying like you've never seen them sway before. I've been in a number of earthquakes myself. This by far is the strongest earthquake I have ever felt. We're getting initial reports now of some damage from the Oakland area as well, but uh, again, communication is very difficult, as you know. We lost all communication with you. ABC lost communication from the World Series game here, and I don't know if they're up, uh, up yet or not. I, uh, the last I heard, they were not. Uh, we're, we're trying to assess the situation right now, and naturally, it's a, it's a very serious situation here, particularly considering the fact that a section of the Bay Bridge has collapsed, and as I said, we did just see pictures of that live on a local television station here. Was there any indication, Dan, that, that anyone was hurt in that collapse of the bridge? Did cars go down with it and everything? Well, it was the upper section of the bridge, and it looked as though it was probably on the Oakland side of the bridge, mm -hmm. in the cantilever section, and it was the upper deck of the bridge. In other words, the traffic that would be heading in towards San Francisco. There was no traffic on the upper bridge that we could see. However, it looked as though that some of the cars uh, underneath the area on the lower deck of the bridge were obviously trapped there, and some of them may have, in fact, been uh, uh, struck by the upper part of the bridge. It was one whole section of the bridge that fell in. It did not fall into the into the bay, but the upper part fell down to the uh, lower deck of the bridge. Are you at Candlestick yourself right now? Yes, I am at Candlestick Park right now in our live truck. Did you observe any 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 significant damage or any injuries there where you are? Uh, Dick, I can. Uh, they're evacuating Candlestick Park here right now. We've just. Uh, received word right now, and, and as I look out the front of the truck here, they are evacuating Candlestick Park. Has that been confirmed? Are they evacuating Candlestick Park? This is a live conversation with Dan Adams by telephone from... It looked similar to the Embarcadero, but I would hate to say that it's the Embarcadero. Again, it was a two-layer roadway that basically has collapsed for, it looked as though, probably a quarter mile or so. Uh, a, a number of cars trapped under the rubble and, and some cars up on top as well. I, I, I may take this opportunity, and I hate to do this on the air, but if, if any of the other crews that we have there in Sacramento that can come on over to this area, it appears as though there is heavy damage in San Francisco. So if you're listening there, you might want to send another live truck over and, of course, more, uh, more news crews, because this is obviously going to turn out to be probably the largest earthquake that any of us have experienced in our lifetime here in Northern California. 